how has it how has it come to pass that in 2022 there are people making the laws and bear in mind they are making the laws because bills don't generally get changed very much in the commons they get the whip treatment don't they the rubber stamp treatment there you just get rammed through in the commons if there's going to be change to legislation it often happens in the lords and yet to what extent does the house of Lords represent modern britain well, it doesn't at all does it so I guess you, if you're forcing me, I would, I would, I would go for the Lords as being the most outrageous, um, blatant, uh, anti-democratic sort of uh, uh, kind of thing that needs to be cor corrected. But I see it as a package. If I'm honest, I see it as um, an elected Lords, whether it's indirectly or directly. I don't don't really mind actually one or the other. I would have PR for the Commons. You could have a constituency link. But I definitely would have a regional list system so that people could start working more regionally and strategically. I would have the removal of the parliamentary whip system then to foster that cross party and that, 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 that working. And then I would have maximum devolution of power out of that Westminster system to um, the, the English regions. So that then you could have a system that works all the way up. As I say, it's kind of wired for equality 